Hi, I'm Bob Morris, University of Nevada Cooperative Extension, here at our research and demonstration orchard in North Las Vegas to talk about bees. We do have 10 beehives uh, that are out in our orchard that are maintained by UNLV and by Dr. Uh, Elikonich there, but uh, we rely on other pollinators as well uh, to help pollinate our fruit trees. And one of those is a very critical uh, bee uh, one of our solitary bees, very different than the bees that we have here in the orchard, uh, called our leaf cutter bees. These bees will cause some damage in roses and uh, hibiscus uh, and uh, grape leaves and uh, bougainvillea. They'll go in and cut those circular uh, shapes out of that and use them for nesting purposes. So what I want to show you today is how you can build one of these bee boxes to encourage these types of bees into your yard because they will not become Africanized or the so-called killer bees that we don't like to call them that but that's the typical reference at all. The uh, leaf cutter bees are about half the size of our Italian honey bees that we have here and we can encourage them by building what we call these bee boxes. Let's go down here and take a look at some of these. If we look at these bee boxes you'll notice that uh, you'll see some what appears to be some mud or dirt in these packed holes and the female will come in and lay the eggs in these holes and she'll go and lay them in sequence uh, and then pack them with the leaf cuttings that she's made from the, the plants that I mentioned earlier pack them in and those babies will go ahead and, and hatch out of here and start to do a lot of work in pollinating. I've sat out here in the orchard for uh, an hour at a time and just counted bees and my estimates at about 25 percent of all of our pollination uh, is probably done when they're out uh, is done by the leaf cutter bees and you can make them in a lot of different ways out here you can get them from our orchard if you want to if you don't want to make them but they generally the holes that are drilled here are drilled about three and a half inches deep I've been told that if you don't drill them uh, five and a half inches deep you uh, won't get to both sexes but that doesn't seem to be a problem they still all work the same in the orchard so you'll drill these holes the preferred size that we've determined out here is about three-eighths of an inch in diameter they'll go ahead and pack these you can put them in anything I wouldn't put them in uh, in wood that has been treated of course but untreated wood three and a half inches deep drill them down three-eighths of an inch in diameter and let those bees start filling them in just like you're seeing with this one all that packing that's going on inside in there there's a couple actually fresh ones going on right now they're going to emerge and we're going to get bees out here to do a lot of work for us and get us some nice fruits and veggies this next year talk to you again soon bye bye